guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. So I harvested a bunch of wheat and we have plenty enough to hand over to this housekeeper here. Welcome, welcome back, wayward child. I see you brought 50 sheaves of wheat I demanded. Let us wait no longer. We'll relinquish your crop at once. Yes. Marvelous, magnificent, masterful. Never before have I seen such an enticing sight, nor one so wicked. As you know, as an act of creation is strictly pro proscribed here on Furrowfield, and yet we would obviously starve without food of some sort. Many gather seaweed from the beaches or find fruit fallen from the trees, but I do not care for the taste of either option. The children of Horgon teach that all must be destroyed, yet some in the upper echelons balk at the recent rate of destruction and seek to reverse the trend. But that, too, is to be welcomed, for is not the breaking of the rules the norms of the very rules of our illustrations order itself, not the truest form of destruction. <laughs> Whatever the case, the overseer of the island, the primate of Furrowfield, shall be returning here soon. I only hope the pastor returns to us first. Ooh. Ah, it almost slipped my mind. I promise to reward you for yielding your crops. The pot is immediately... Wait, the pot is immediately yours. Wait, the pot is yours! I'm sorry. Will you be dashing it to the ground immediately or saving the pleasure for later? I got the pot. Yeah! Scoop up water and slosh it out. Nice. And I think that's gonna allow us to do some fun stuff with um with the sugar cane here. Master the wet stuff with this impressive vessel. Tap R2 to scoop up water around you and hold R2 to pour it out again. There we go. Alright, and we got some hearts for that. Plus, the mice wanna talk. Squeak, you've got some guts waltzing up here, human. The house belongs to one of the higher ups of the children of Hargon. Say, human, don't you have anything to eat, do you? You don't have anything to eat, do you? I may have a big belly, but it's emptier than ever. I could collapse at any moment. Tell you what, if you bring me ten cabbages, I'll give you some sugarcane seedlings in exchange. How does that sound? That's exactly what I need. I wouldn't wander around so carefree if I were you. The island doesn't belong to humans anymore. It's the children of Horgons now. And we fat rats are Horgons' favorites. At least, I think we are. There's no real evidence for it, but it's a fact. And I think we deserve our fair share of recognition. Ten sheaves of wheat should serve as a tribute. I have a few seedlings I could give you in return. So, we already have this. Oh, what's that smell? Did you bring me the wheat I asked for? Come on, then. No need to stand on ceremony. Just hand them over. Squeak, squeak. I can't believe that it worked. Get it to eat today. <laughs> Ever since the children of Horgon ruled out making new things, it's become harder and harder to find food. We're all really hungry. Well, I said I'd pay you... And I'm a rat of my word, so here you go. I hope you can grow them into something edible. And that's the sugar cane seedlings. That's all we really need, I think. Huh? Judging from the dopey grin on your mug, I assume we found the 25 sugar cane seedlings we need? We did. The whole reason I came to this bog was to find the seedlings and get that pot from the pastor's owl cottage. When we've got everything we need, let's head back to the farm. That's it, baby. We got it. We got it. All right. Um, Pastor Al know that knows all there is to know about Furrowfield. We could not ask for a wiser leader. If you were here, I would ask him to reveal you the secrets of the accursed deity or the foul farm that formed around it. But he is not. So why are you still here? Do you have some business with me? What? You thought I looked like I had a job for you? So you're offering to help? Perhaps I misjudged you. Could it be that you're not the vile evil being I previously <laughs> took you for? Well then, my wayward child, do you see that reservoir over there? As you can see, the water it once stored is now long gone. But using the pot that I entrusted to you, entrusted to you, you could gather water from the nearby bog and refill it. Water abounds at the foot of this cliff. Now, climb down there, collect some water, and use it to fill the two areas I will mark out for you. If you wish to learn more about the workings of that pot, simply speak to me again, and I would be happy to provide more detailed explanation. So, we can scoop with R2, and uh, there was some water down here, he said? Oh, look. Where's the water? Ah, down here. How easy it is, how easy is it going to be to get down here, though? 
Whoa! What? A super strong monster appears. Um. No, that's water. I'm not trying to do water. Oh my gosh. Look at the damage this guy takes. Actually, though, he's not. He's not really. Oh! He's not real hard to dodge the attacks of him. Uh oh. That's some super attack he just did. He is down to 25%, uh, down to 75% now. I should have gotten Malroth's weapon that I said I'd get. Puppy! Uh, Miss Higgins, get out of the way, baby. This thing means business. They said it's a super strong monster. Oh, that hurt, kind of. Actually, that didn't hurt at all. Ha! <laughs> Have I taken any damage from this thing? I have not. Ha. Ouch. No, that still didn't hurt. Okay, that hurt. That hurt. Don't let it sit on you. Whatever you do. We almost got him, Malra. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna eat one of these right now. There we go. I cooked some cabbage before I left. <laughs> Almost got him. Oh, that was some crits I just did. Keep on, baby. 200 XP. What? We got a new recipe, too. Nice. Poison needle. A pernicus poker with a toxic tip. Attack 20 can cause instant death. Holy crap! Not bad. Uh-oh. Malroth's poisoned. If we're going to finish this job, we need to find some more seeds and make the pills. Okay. Well, I guess his poison's gonna go away if it's not going already. Alright. So I wonder if we can scoop from here. Can't scoop this up just yet. So it has to be bog water. It has to be bog water. All right, let's grab the bog water. Okay, fills it up with muddy water. Oh, it actually took it away. That's interesting. That is interesting. Now, you know that reservoir would fill up with the rain and stuff, though. Okay, let's get back up here. I wonder if we're gonna have to go down like three times with this. Can we have more than one of these bottles, please? Okay, let's see. So I've got, let's get this reservoir full. Oh yeah, it's gonna take. Wait, or two, right? Oh, there we go, we gotta kinda hold it. One of two, the uh oh, sucker. All right, we're gonna have to go one more time, which I do believe it would probably be just quicker to go over here. Maybe, maybe not. Heck, I could have teleported quicker, honestly. I could have just teleported. That's fine, though. Yep. Okay, did we get it? I don't... <laughs> Uh-oh. This might be kind of hard to get out of. Whose idea was it to come here anyway? Oh yeah, mine. Um, okay. I could have just teleported too. So, I do have... Is the water full? Scoop or two. I don't know if I got it or not. Okay, now I for sure got it. She's found something. It's probably seeds. Where you at, girl? Oh, she's way over there. Okay, hold on. Um, change out to that. All right. Yeah. 
dude, I'm taking so much damage right now. Let's just kill this thing and get it out of the way. Oh, level up. I wonder if that'll heal me. Maro gets strong and Zul'jin reaches level 7. His maximum hit points increases. His breath gauge gets a little bigger. Oh. I wonder if we're going to have some water areas that we're going to do stuff in. All right, let's eat some grilled greens. There we go. Okay. Watch out, Miss Higgins. Watch out, Miss Higgins. There we go. Oh, we got plenty of seats now, yo. Plenty! Okay. Uh, let's get out of here by just teleporting here. <laughs> that way we won't have to climb. It's a pretty quick loading screen, and we shouldn't have to worry about uh, going all the way back up the mountain there. Okay. Through the water and stuff, you know? All right. One other place to fill up. And, oh, there was some crops in here, too, it looks like. See how it has, like, the, uh, oh, wait. There we go. Failed. Nice. All right. So, yeah, they're farmers, too. They used to farm, apparently, because they got all kind of stuff over here. Ah, the wayward child returns, and I notice the reservoirs have been refilled with water. I take it we have you to thank for this. Let me offer you a token of my appreciation. I hope I can trust you not to let the pastor know I carried such profane items on my person. They all a bunch of traitors. All of them. But perhaps my greatest gift to you is that pot. May it serve you well and may it have mastery over all liquids to the end of your days. <laughs> I love how all the monsters are like friendly and stuff. It's, it's weird. And I learned how to make something. A sluice gate? A wooden gate for intelligent irrigation can be opened and closed to control water flow. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay, he wants cabbages, but I don't have all 10 here. I have to come back to give that other guy cabbages or wheat anyway. So I'm going to do that later, but I don't think it's going to be anything. It's just trading in seeds, right? So let's go to the home. Home. And we'll have to check the other place, too. That place that they wanted to visit, that's one of our, our quests. All right, so... So then you're back and you look <laughs> looking happier than ever, too. Does this mean you found the seedlings we need? <laughs> and I see you have retrieved the bottomless pot from my cottage. Very good, now we can begin on working... We can begin work on growing the sugarcane seedlings. Which reminds me, Rosie, did you not claim to be the finest farmer in Furrow Field? I find it curious you do not know how to grow something so simple as sugarcane. So, um, when I did what I said, I said I was the finest farmer. I actually meant the finest farmer apprentice. Well, technically, the finest, finest farming apprentice to be. That would not do at all. Let me train you. I can teach you all you wish to know about the art of agriculture and history of the island. He, man, pastors, old school. Really, really, you be. I'm so happy I could pop. Did you hear that, Zuldin? I'm going to be the pastor of House Apprentice. I'm finally going to become a proper farmer. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so I imagine that um, this water, I mean these uh, these sugar canes are gonna have to be grown in water. So I don't know exactly how we're gonna set that up, but we'll figure it out. Maybe. Maybe the actual, uh, maybe the room that we built will hold it? I do need to sleep, though. And man, we really need more beds. Look how many beds we have. Um, hold on. Let's wake Rosie up, talk to her, and then I'm going to steal her bed real quick. All right, Zul'jin, let's plant those sugarcane seedlings. M Master Pastor Al. Whoa, on top of the house, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, my apprentice, you wish to know how to grow sugarcane. My secret is to plant them in a field that is fully submerged in water. Simply place a scarecrow within the water as you would for any other field and plant the seedlings around it. I see. 
So that's why you sent Zuldian to collect the bottomless pot. So he can pour the water in our new sugarcane field. I shall train young Rosie in the specifics. Should, should, you, should you wish to know more, I suggest you consult with her. Come on, Zuljan, let's get started. Make an underwater field and plant some of those sugarcane seedlings in it and wait for them to grow. All right. Um, hold on. Wait. You're interested? No, 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 no. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in stealing your bed. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. She already told... Oh, I know about all this. All right. We know. We know. It has to be completely covered with water. That gummit girl, that's enough. All right, I'm still, I'm stealing your bed now. Thank goodness. She was gonna talk my head off. I need to make this room bigger now. Everybody needs to sleep and eat and everything. Oh, you get more happiness when everybody's taken care of. Well, everybody's time to eat. Look, 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 mess hall much time. Oh my god. Blomp, 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 blomp. Oh, they're getting kelp and stuff too? <laughs> they pigging out over there, man. Pigging out. Okay, so. Let's talk to Rosie real quick. I'm um, sorry, Brittany. Yo, Zuljan, what's up? <gasps> huh, you reckon I do look kind of tired? Worn out? Look like I'm totally stoked that farm's coming along so well. These fields and crops and stuff are seriously lit. But the whole place stinks like a baboon with a ba <laughs> I have to like hold my breath to stop myself from blowing chunks in my own mouth. Oh no. Can you help me out fam? Like build us some sort of bath building, bathing building or whatever? I know you got mad skills. Can't you scribble up a blueprint for a bathroom and then build it? But a basic bathroom isn't enough for a girl like me. You've gotta finesse the place. Make it super stylish. I don't care where you put it. <laughs> I just lay that blueprint down wherever you think it looks cool, okay? So I'm gonna get a blueprint for a bathroom, huh? Yaha! Yeah <laughs> and I got a bathhouse blueprint. I'm gonna have to make one. Probably not this episode, though. I got another one? A new recipe? Is it gonna be for a toilet or a shower or something? Basic bathtub. A wooden water basin you could use to wash your words away. Okay. Sweet. Very cool. Okay, you can lay a blueprint anywhere you like if you prefer to move it elsewhere. Okay, and press the middle button. All right, I already know that. So let me place it. We've already got all of our stuff set up here. So I think the bathroom is going to be somewhere around him. Uh, let's see. So, oh yeah, we're going to have plenty of room. Let's do it. Right here. That looks great. Layout. Okay. That's the bathroom. And we can always look to see what the blueprint actually needs just by doing this. So it'll work great. Okay. Well, we're not going to take care of that quite yet. We're going to take care of this sugar cane form thing first. Okay. So if I press R2 here. Huh. <gasps> That is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> so I can't do it like I thought I could. I'm going to have to actually build a little reservoir for it. Which shouldn't be bad. I don't guess. But it was all ready for crops, man. It was all ready for crops. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, this is not going to be big enough for a lot of the other things around. Like, we're going to need more wheat and more cabbage for sure to be grown so what I could do is I'm gonna have to extend oh that's not what I want to do no 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 that's not what I wanted to do so I'm gonna have to probably break this middle part down yeah unfortunately and then I'll be able to extend if I don't have to grow anything weird like sugarcane again I'm gonna be able to take the both these parts and extend them towards the middle so we should be okay all right and we need it at least 25 so it has to be five by five there's all my other sugarcane 
So, let's see. 5x5 five five is... What are we going to make it out of? Let's see here. We do have some cool bricks that we got. I don't know if we have enough, though. Hmm. Oh, no, it has to be 50, huh? Not 25. It has to be 50 of it. So I'm going to have to make it out of something else. These padded floors look kind of cool, but I don't think this reservoir is going to be what we need. Uh, let's do this. Let's do... I don't have enough stone blocks either. Dang it, Bobby. I think all I have to, to do... I could build with wood. I could do some wood blocks. That, yeah, that won't be that bad. Okay, so... We're probably just gonna have to make it we could just make it here instead of having to rip up all this dirt because I'm not using this for anything quite yet anyway so I tell you what if it has to be 10 by 5 you know what let's just make it separate I would feel better if we'd make it separate so um, let's see Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Seven. It has to be five, so actually that's perfect. And we're gonna need by ten. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, that's ten in the middle. And one, two, three, four, five. All right. And now, we'll be able to fill this sucker up, like so. Oh, do I need, <laughs> I'm gonna need to grab some. I wonder if I could grab some from here, actually. I wonder if it'll let me. Yep, it keeps on filling up, very nice. Okay, good. So, Oh, I gotta hold it. There we go. Oh, it's not quite enough, I guess. So what I should do is... Oh, I can just keep using it? Ah, oh, you gotta hold... Okay, I was thinking the whole time you had to grab it and catch it. But you don't. You can just keep pouring and keep pouring and keep pouring. Cool. Okay. Let's put the scarecrow down. Oh, I did want to make it bigger though, right? I did. I wanted to make it one bigger. So, this is how we're going to do it. You're going to have one more, buddy. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Yep. You gonna come clean this up too, man? Yep. You got some more on this side to do too. I wonder. Will we have to put two scarecrows? Maybe we will. Maybe it won't be quite big enough. But we're still going to have plenty. Yeah, it doesn't go all the way. Okay. I'm just going to borrow a scarecrow from here and then change it in a little bit. I just want to get this sugar king growing. Okay. So we can put the, sh the scarecrow right here. There we go. And uh, last but not least... All we have to do is fill this up. All right. So they're going to till all this stuff. And I can still do the chest right outside. Let's do the chest right here. We're going to put all the sugarcane seeds in here. Put away. And we're going to tell these guys to... Oh, they can, we can't tell them to grow sugarcane yet. Maybe not. Okay. I, I guess I'm going to have to plant these all by myself. Okay, no problem. Let's take out... Let's take them all out. Okay. Plant. 
I guess part of the uh, part of the deal is us actually planting them, and them just they're gonna figure it out once once Rosie figures it out. I guess she's gonna teach everybody. I guess that's how it's gonna go. All right. So all of this is gonna have to grow for a little while. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's gonna take a little while. Alright, and that's... Why aren't they tilling more, though? I wonder. Is it... Is it nighty-night time? That's exactly what's going on. Oh, they're eating. They're eating. How's the cabbage situation, anyway? Let's see. I can't wait until we have a second type of food, because, man, they are going through it, baby. They go through... They go through it very, very fast, believe it or not. Okay. Zuljin, look, our sugar cane has sprouted. It looks like you've got the hang of making fields and water, just as I expected from our resident builder. Maybe it's my imagination, but this sugar cane already smells so lovely and sweet, I bet we can make some really delicious food out of it. And not only that, I could stick a piece up my nose and enjoy a wonderful sweet smell every minute of the day. What? You'd be better served by sleeping with sugar cane seedlings in your ears. Come the morning, you'll find a pair of fully grown plants sprouting from your nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> I jest, I jest. Don't put your nose out of joint. <laughs> Pasta crazy. Well, now that we know how to grow strong sugar cane, we, we can plant as much as we like. And the best of all, we don't have to spend time watering it. We've got three types of crops on the, grow on the grow now, but we still need two more. If you find out where any more seeds are, you'll be the first to know. Or, if she finds out. Sweet! That worked out pretty good, actually. So we still got more crops to grow. We're going to have to explore the bog more, which I imagine that that guy in the house that we did not visit yet is going to be the guy to really do what we need to do. And we'll have to figure out how to process um, the sugar cane later, I suppose. Now that we got this going, the chest is out. They should plant and after they plow and again they won't have to water it and I'm probably just gonna take some time and extend these fields a little bit or I might just change up the design altogether it kind of now that I have to use like two scarecrows and stuff it kind of <laughs> it kind of makes me sad but if I extend this over by one I'll have a 10 by uh, 11 by 5 which would be 55 and two scarecrows will still be 53 so it'll still be enough and i think that's what i'm gonna end up doing so i have plenty of room to work with here we might just do something decorative in the middle anyway i'll figure that out off camera but that is gonna be it for this episode you guys i hope y'all really enjoyed it if you did give me some tap on that like button to show you support and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos thanks so much for watching as always this is Logan signing off we'll see you next time don't get to work guys Break it down.